so we are at Arby's getting lunch and Jacob uh, ordered our food but the guy is from somewhere so he has an accent from like I'm not sure the UK maybe I don't know no offense to anybody but Jake happens to try to match accents. He's got Amberly. Amberly. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, while Jake was ordering his food, I think he might be Australian. Maybe. Jake was matching his accent. And I thought Jake was doing it on purpose. And so I was trying to keep my cool. Were you doing it on purpose? What are I was not. He didn't, didn't even, even know, know he was doing it. They're lava cakes. Be careful though, they're I hot. Shake. That's how that's how often you goof around. I know. Because you do it subconsciously <laughs> and you just So hopefully he um, didn't notice. Yeah, did you get curly fries? Yeah, I got them. I got them loaded. Another what? No. We haven't enough. We have we no, have enough. She was supposed to get curly fries. Then take your fries back because those are yours. These these are mine. Loaded is right here. <laughs> you want these? No, it's fine. I don't really like. Curly so what accent were you? I have no idea. I didn't even know I was doing it. <laughs> I feel bad because I'm. I hope that you didn't think I was mocking him. <laughs> it was funny. I think it was so funny. And then we walked away and then I laughed because I thought Jake was joking and he's like... Because she's rude. I am rude. I embrace it though. But apparently that was not... It was my subconscious European or Australian mind coming out. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Jake. Hey, maybe that's what I am. We still don't know from the DNA test. <laughs> he's got it in his blood somewhere. It could be hidden deep down inside somewhere. <laughs> and he's gone. I have so much I want to say. It's unbelievable. Part of what I want to talk about though is relying on other people. Don't do it. I've learned this lesson over and over and you'd think that I would stop doing it. Stop it. Every time I think that I can trust someone, I can't. It's like a waste of time to even think that I, that's even an option. Yeah. Um, or the other thing that is fun is like the judgmental people in your life. Like, um, I feel like I can't tell, I can't talk or tell people about certain things because I feel like if I were to say exactly like the facts or what's really going on, that I'm going to get nothing but flack or judgment or whatever. And it drives me crazy. I feel like, like when I'm thinking about all the friends that I actually have that I can rely on, that I can dump all my crap on. Luckily, it's only one person. His name is Jake. And now he's gone. <laughs> And I don't know, there's always, you've, you always have that one friend that like puts you back at ground center. And outside of Jake, I think I've only had maybe two, one or two, maybe three of those people that I can say categorize in that. I would say Daisha is one of my girlfriends I had. I met her way back when the boys were babies. I wasn't even divorced from the boys' dad yet. And she would always like when I would be out, like my, my thoughts and things are off kilter. She would always be one to help me bring me back to center. You know, those types of people that like will tell you if your thoughts are like, <laughs> or your theories or whatever, if they're out of whack or you're angry for something, if you're actually venting or if it's really valid that you feel that way. Um, Daisha is definitely that. Um, I would also say that Candy, um, I met Candy in Alaska and to this day, both of these ladies, I haven't taught, I don't talk to on a daily basis, but when I do pick up the phone, I can pick up right where I left off and it doesn't feel like we've missed a beat at all. Like that's the type of friends 
Um, but I feel like candy is that. And a lot of times, if I can't get Jake on the phone or I just can't think something through logically, I will give her a call and be like, this is what I'm venting. Here's my vent. Am I valid in this thinking? And she'll say yes or no and then tell me where where it is valid and maybe things that are a little construed on my end. And that literally puts me right back at center, you know? Um... And so there's that, there's her, Candy. So Daisha, Candy, and I would say Lacey is my other person. I can vent to Lacey. I can cry on the phone to Lacey. I can even drop the F-bomb if I need to. There's no judgment there. There's no... I love that I can just do that. And there's no judgment. I'm kind of a hermit. And I don't like to explain to people why, why I'm that way. So to sit and rely on people when I'm in a need without having to tell them why I need it. And then to have that not fulfilled, I feel like is like a waste not a waste of a friendship, but more or less just a waste of my time to even say that I needed that, you know? I hate that I, I, I don't ask for help. I don't. I suck at that, actually. And then when I go out of my way to ask for help, it makes me so angry when that person that I've asked help from stomps all over the idea of my needing help. Like, it's almost offensive. Number one, that I've even asked for help. Number two, that they basically like crapped on the need I needed or the help I needed. You know what I mean? Where was I going with all this other than I'm venting and super annoyed and frustrated? It's great to have Jake home though. <laughs> we had a bridal shower, he was home so I could actually go. It's nice just to have him home. I think there was a day or two where he could just chill. But you know, it's even funny because even like family, um, you know how I was talking about how you can and can't say things to certain people or whatever, um, or tell them honestly where you're at. I'd rather be a hermit and not dump any of my garbage on anybody because it's not like they can help you anyways and even their attempt of help is not really help it usually just makes more chaos and more garbage that I have to pick up later right mentally and everything else so with that being said like I feel like there's family members like that too you know like you think you can depend on them and you've dumped it and you pick up whatever help or need that they have not so that you can get it in return but it just seems like when the table turns there's no one there you know um I feel like with Allie and Austin getting married I feel like we they don't have the support that they need and me having my own issues doesn't help but at the same time <laughs> It's frustrating. I hate that I just can't figure it all out and have it all work. And tonight, I have a bed full of kids. And I gotta figure out how to kick them out. Because when it's my turn to sleep, I wanna sleep in peace. No legs, no arms punching me in the face, no heads mauling me. They're all going to their own beds. I will, I will pull them by their feet if I have to. Yeah. But I need those loyal friends that I have. I need to give one of those a call because you know what? I feel like my my plate and my venting needs to happen. Anyway, that's it.